court. There are about two or three cases which I can vividly remember that is going ongoing in court, which is part of what is contained in the Freedom of Information Act. So, so I want to believe that with the Freedom of Information Act, we are gradually achieving the issue of getting access to information, especially for, for, our, for our colleagues who want to engage in investigative journalism. And, and I always emphasize this, that the Freedom of Information Act as it is, is not only for the media, it is for democracy, it is for accountability and good governance. It is a, pro a policy and an and act that will be able to enhance accountability in governance so so it is for everybody it is for all nigerians and and i want to believe that uh, if we are able to to intensify the sensitization and the, for people to understand the value of the freedom of information act i think it will further enhance our democracy and it will be easier for journalists to be able to get access to information in the process of discharging their social responsibility since you're also admitting that it's not so easy right now for journalists to get access to information. But a host of people will also say that with freedom does come responsibility. Would you say that the press has been responsible with the freedom that it's, it's earned so far? Well, I think we have quite a number of uh, challenges, especially in the areas of professional misconduct, and the abuse of privileges on the part of the media. It is, uh, and this has to do with the issue of uh, professionalism and ethics of the profession. And, and, and I think that is the fear of quite a number of Nigerians even before the passage of the Freedom of Information Act. People tend to believe that uh, the media will abuse the freedom that is granted to them. And, and even before then, actually, if you, if you look at the, 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 the ownership of the media at it is, is a very serious challenge to us because uh, the media as it is now in Nigeria has been completely hijacked by, by, by politicians. Therefore, most of the content of our publication in most cases is being influenced by the interests of, of such owners. And I think this is a very serious challenge as far as uh, we, we are concerned. And we are doing everything possible to ensure that our colleagues practice this noble profession according to the ethics and with high sense of professionalism. I think that is what is needed in Nigeria. And we as a union, we are engaging quite a number of stakeholders. As I speak to you today, we are, we are going to have a meeting of stakeholders in involving the Nigerian Guild of Editors, the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria, the Nigerian Press Council, and of course the UNDP. And part of the issues which we are going to discuss is the issue of code of conduct and ethics for, for journalism practice in Nigeria. We are trying to review the, the, the ethics of the, the code of conduct for media practitioners. And, and I think uh, it is because we are indeed worried and because of the increasing number of uh, complaints that we have received from quite a number of Nigerians of the issue of ethical standard in journalism profession. And, and I think this is one area that we have to try as much as possible as professionals to achieve. Would you think it is necessary then for NUJ perhaps to uh, let the authorities know the importance of bringing to justice those who are perhaps involved in the killing of those journalists as a result of which uh, Nigeria's name popped up on that CBJ report? Well, well, I think we, on our part, we are really doing our best because uh, there are some cases which NUJ is directly involved especially the issue of litigation. In fact, there are areas where we have even gone to court to seek redress. In, uh, so to, for instance, in Lagos, I'm sure if you remember what happened to one of our colleagues in the leadership newspaper, a photojournalist who was assaulted uh, by the officials of uh, Lagos State uh, University Teaching Hospital while, during the, while he was there to cover an assignment 
And I think that case is still in course. It's been handled by Lagos State Council of the NUG. So in a situation where we have conflict like this, and uh, it eventually we did not uh, agree on some of the issues that were raised, especially the um, areas of conflict and assault on journalists. These are critical issues as a union that uh, we don't compromise. And if we have re reported cases of such uh, issues, we have our own legal team that we briefed. And, and eventually the best way of seeking redress, as far as I'm concerned, is to go to court. And I think NUJ, as I speak to you today, I think we have about three such cases uh, ongoing in some of our courts, one in Abuja and two in Lagos. All right, and Gabo Mohamed, President of Nigeria Union of Journalists, thank you for speaking with us today on Sunrise Daily. Yeah, thank you. Also. We're back in just a moment here. Please join us again. If you like to have browse, call, or text, you need EasyFlex. I'll show you. Most people work with a budget. This amount for calls. This amount for SMS. And this amount for data. Not very flexible, is it? With EasyFlex from Etisalat, all you need is one plan. You simply pay once. And you get reduced tariffs on calls, data, and SMS. You also get more than double of the value you paid for to call any network, browse, and send SMS. If it's really affordable, it should be flexible. Abby, choose your plan with Flex 300, Flex 500, and Flex 1000. Etisola, now you're talking. <laughs> Welcome back. We're now we're joined by the Minister of Information, Labara Marco, also from Abuja Studios. Morning and thank you for joining us today. Well, talking about press freedom in Nigeria, well, yes, we have seen your comments, especially concerning that CPJ report where you say that there isn't any official attack on journalism in Nigeria. But you have people who also say uh, 
But of course, a lot needs to be done in terms of improving how journalists 